And once again, here's how the final rounds are set in today's competition. Jack Beyond DeLillo and Les Schussler, our fourth and fifth ranked bowlers in the tournament thus far, will meet in the first game. The winner of this match will attempt to bowl his way past Mike Durbin in third place, Don Johnson in second place, and finally meet Jim Stefanich for the championships. Here's the handshake now, and the match is underway. Bob Strampy. Thank you, Ned. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Riviera Lanes, the greatest tournament of all, the first ball will be thrown by Jack Biondolillo, Houston, Texas. Very fine lift on the ball. A strike for Jack in the very first frame. And now in lane 28, Les Schussler. Just a little bit light in the pocket. Maybe Les let that ball out just a little bit farther than he wished. And he left the five pin. Simple spare to be converted. Les, 38 years old, a four-time PBA champion. When he's first one in Indianapolis, 1963. 205 average in tournaments. So Les Schussler now moving over to lane number 27. Pelican Denver. A triple winner in last year's ABCs. The singles, the all events, and the classic team. Finished third at Mobile this year. He rolled that ball very, very well, right from the foul line, Ned. Very fine hand action and strong fingers on that ball. Good looking man from Houston now. Jack beyond the, the Lillo. Game, you know, Jack is a very uh, colorful guy. I, we always like to see him when we're televising these tournaments because he, he you know, he moves around and, and, and Jack does what we call the dance. Sometimes we try to stop action on him. Jack's got some of the finest footwork in the business out here. If he wins this game, I'm sure he's going to be over the other end of the lanes after some of the strikes. Beyond a little. All solid in the pocket. Beautiful. Now Les Schussler coming up on lane 28, trying to catch his double. Tighten the match up a little bit. Even a bit light again on lane 28. Lays the five pin again. Same spare head in the first frame. Uh, you know, Bob, the uh, the fellow that wins this uh, game can do no worse than thirty-five hundred dollars. Fifth place prize money twenty-five hundred. Fourth place thirty-five hundred. And he converts to spare. Jack Biondolillo has a twenty-ten lead over Les Schussler. Yeah, we're, we're expecting some great scoring here today. What's the uh, the average been, Bob? Well, the average across on these lanes has been approximately 229 for the five finalists that we have on today. <laughs> Les looked like he might have lost that ball just a little bit at the line. Instead of staying with it and getting firm lift and fingers on the ball, he might have lost it, creating the ball to come into the pocket just a little bit on what we call the flat side. 5-8. The crowd goes, oh. Oh, the crowd has been very enthusiastic all week. Beautiful cover, Les. And we are traveling right along here. We'll be back with more of the first match between Jack Beyond the Lillo and Les Schussler here in Akron in just a moment. Jack right now has a 22-pin lead over Les Schussler. And Jack looking for his fourth strike in a row. Fine lift, out on the lane, good roll, and out it again, number four.
Jack has been in uh, eight, uh, Bob, eight of the previous 12 PBA tournaments this year. He, he finished fourth in St. Paul. Remember that show, uh, that coverage. Uh, something like uh, $8,800 last year in prize money. What a way to start the year. He's going after here. this 25000 today. Number five, can you guess this? Right out of the chute, five in a row, working his way towards a tournament victory, a possible $10,000 for a 300 game, and has picked up a 42 pin lead over Les Schisler. Here's Les now, almost $22,000 last year in money earnings. Adjusted on lane 28 and got it in a little solid net after being light twice on this lane. They are hot today. And they are charged and ready to go for this tournament of them all. Unless looking for a double. Lane 27. A little bit firm after the frame before where he left a 5-8 on a light hit. Came in just a little bit high and left the four pin. We're live and in color from Akron, Ohio, ABC Sports coverage of the Tournament of Champions. A beautiful, almost summer-like day here in Akron. Temperature somewhere around the 70s. Easy conversion on the four pin for Les Schistler. And here's Jack. Six to go, Ned. Okay, let's take a look right now of the uh, reaction let's by watch. Jack. Let's look at this knee bend, the arm swing, stop action. Look at that arm come up and the knee bend. All ABC right, the stop action. Through, all the way down. We're back live now. Come on, ball. All right, number seven. Seven in a row, and all solid. Our Jack. stop action is black and white, Bob, and uh, the lives are in color. Right, and what is it live today? Some pretty good bowling, huh, Bob? Oh, it's beautiful bowling out here. That Jack looks so sharp out there. Les has been... Uh, in uh, cashing in money on 11 tournaments this year. And he's going after this one. And a double for Les Schiffer. Les has been real close to the pocket on all pitches. Just a shade off. There's now Jack Biondolillo who has a 52 pin lead over Les Schistler. It's out. Plenty of fingers, Ned. Plenty of ball. Number eight. Well, now, uh, now I'm starting to wonder about this ten thousand dollars. How many strikes in a row do we have for Jack? Well, there's a preview. Three, three four, five, six, happen. seven, eight. Eight strikes in a row. Four more for ten thousand dollars. It's never happened before. Well, we have a perfect shot at it coming up right here, Ned. I'm looking around for the check. Number nine. For ten thousand dollars for one single 300 game. All right. And it's really working hard. Boy, what a whirlwind Les ran into. Nine balls, perfect in the pocket. And now and I'm lane 28, Les Schistler. And Les catches his turkey and is still working on a possible 238. An amazing performance here by Jack beyond a Lillo. The ninth frame, or rather the tenth frame. Les Schistler, Denver. A oh. little shallow eight, Ned. Ball came in just a little bit late. Not 
quite enough roll on it. However, the 10 went out, so he does have a simple conversion spare. This will leave less 63 pins down, with no possible way to win the game. The whole program and the crowd has got to be right now waiting for Jack Beyond a Little to come up for the 10th frame. Coming up in the 10th, possible $10,000 for the first perfect 300 game on ABC's Pro Bowlers Tour. You say that rather well. <laughs> All right, now here's the one we're waiting for. Three strikes, Jack needs. We need three He's strikes. He's nine. Jack beyond the level, right here. Three more. And he collects $10,000. You can just cut the excitement and the tension in this crowd, Ned, waiting for this, and I can just imagine about what Jack feels like out there. The pressure has got to be terrific on Jack. Oh, is it quiet in here? But not now. <laughs> what a beautiful ball that was. This man got the control going for him today. Ten in a row. All right, here's a uh, slow motion stop action here. Let's watch Jack here in slow motion. Look at this deliberate. The reaction. All the way in reaction on that ball. Look at this. Look at this. Down on his knees. Now we're back we live. Go. Back live. Number 11. Hold it, Jack. gentlemen for ten thousand dollars the first in abc history and pro bowlers tour at firestone tournament of champions akron ohio riviera lanes you could hear a feather float right to the floor right now here $10, is a ten thousand dollar ball let's watch this ball close Ned. it's out oh. Listen to the crowd here. Jack, the happiest man in the business right now. 